Hey guys, so I wanted to make this quick video to show you how to sew on your buttons. So now that we have our button band piece sewn onto the outside of our sweater, it's time to go ahead and attach the buttons. Now it's six buttons. I'm using one inch buttons, but of course you can use whatever you'd like um, as, you know, <laughs> for your buttons. And what you're gonna need is obviously your buttons. You're gonna need like basic needle and thread. I'm using embroidery floss because that's what I had around. Um, but of course, basic needle and thread is wonderful as well. And of course, since our buttons are black, um, black yarn is probably, or black thread is probably the best. So I'm sorry if you know how to sew and you're probably screaming at me for not, or for using embroidery floss, but that's what I had. Of course, it's always handy to have a picture of the sweater. And of course, that is how we will figure out um, our button placement because I read the official pattern and he didn't really say how to measure out or place out your buttons. So I thought the best way would be to have a photo and of course pinpoint the places where we need to put our buttons. Okay, so basically for button placement, all I do, and this is what I did with my other cardigan as well, is that I zoom up into the picture and I just see where they go. So we'll start with this bottom one, I see that it's kind of like a stitch or two, or a row or two above the end. And then I see that this one is kind of where this is. And of course we can always go and adjust our buttons as we go to get it the way we like it. Or if we're seeing that, you know, they're not as spaced out as we would like them. So this next one kind of is here. And I always place them down like this, like not, you know, crooked or anything, to have them kind of, I guess, parallel like this, just because that's how I'm gonna sew them on. That's just a me thing. <laughs> you don't absolutely have to place them down like that. And then when I get to these top ones, I see that this one is here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place that top button down. That is kind of a row or two. And then this one is kind of like in the middle. And of course, when I see my buttons and the way I've arranged them, I try to make sure that I have an equal amount of space in between. I notice that this one's just a tiny bit more spaced apart here. So I'm moving them along to see to make sure that I have them placed relatively where he has them placed um, on his sweater. All right, so here I have my first button already sewed on because I wanted you guys to see what it was going to look like. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it in an X. Of course, there's other ways to sew on buttons. I think there's like the straight lines and you know, it's just whatever you like. I prefer the X just because that's me. <laughs> I like the way it looks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what it's gonna look like. And a tip that I have before you guys start is if you have any of your blue tails or your red tails even um, still that you haven't weaved them in, weave them in before you start because you could accidentally sew your tail like in, while you're sewing your button. You could like secure it to the sweater and we don't want that to happen. And unfortunately that happened to me with my own and it's just a hassle to have to take off. Um, a button because you realize you sewed your tail to the button. So just to avoid that, <laughs> um, weave in your tails before you begin doing your button. All right, so first what I've seen that people do is they kind of mark where they're going to do their button. Some people have done it like without it. I'm always very, very, very precautious. <laughs> so I kind of have my button there and Here's kind of the hard part because you have to keep your button in place. Is you find that hole. And now I know where that first um, hole is going to be lined up. So then what I do is because I know that knot isn't gonna let my yarn pull through, I actually take out my button so then I'm gonna do like a little X because obviously that's what I'm going to do. That's the little pattern I'm showing you guys is to, to sew your, 
your button on with an X. So there's that one. There's that little slant of the X. And we're making sure we're pulling our yarn all the way through because we don't want any loose yarn that's just like hanging out in the back. So there I kind of just marked where my button is going to be. And I'm just going to come back in to that same side. So we're coming back into the front, pulling our yarn to the front. And then what I'm going to do is take my button and in that first hole, bring it and put it in place. I think, because from what I've seen and from the videos that I've seen with button securing, it also gives it extra security along with marking, so that's nice because <laughs> we don't want our buttons to pop off. Okay, so now that we have our yarn coming out of this top hole, what you're gonna do to create your X is you are going to simply go to the hole that's opposite. So we're gonna come in, make sure our button doesn't move, come in, and pull our yarn all the way through. And there we have that first slant in our X, and we're going to do that. I like to do it about three times just to make sure that the button is secure in there. So we're gonna come back in through that same first hole at the top, make sure our yarn is pulled all the way through. We don't want any loose yarn, so we're pulling our yarn all the way in because we don't want loose yarn. And then we are going to put our yarn back through that bottom opposite hole. And pulling our yarn all the way through. Then we're gonna do it one last time before we do the other little slant, little dash in our X. So we're pulling it all the way through. And now that we have that first slash in our X, now we're gonna come into this other top hole. So let's see if I can find it, there we go. So we're gonna come into the other top hole, make sure we pull our yarn all the way through so that we don't have any loose yarn. If you see these little threads, those are the initial ones where my, um, knot is so since the knot is secure there we can always trim those so then just like before we're going to our opposite hole and we're going to do the same thing we're going to do that a few times so that was my first time here's my second time making sure always to pull our yarn through all the way through and one last time if I could find my hole, <laughs> if I could find the little buttonhole here. Oh, wrong one. There we go. See, this is what happens when we do live demonstrations. <laughs> it's not always perfect. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna create something that they call a shank, and it's just to further um, secure our button to make sure that if you decide to close your sweater, um, you may choose to or you may choose not to. Personally, I don't button my cardigans. But I'm going to do one anyway because maybe, you know, one, one day you will. <laughs> um, so it just makes sure that when you close your cardigan, you're actually not tugging on the actual knitted um, piece. Because that will just kind of um, cause it to stretch. And we already know that this is stretchy and we don't want it to stretch more. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in from the back but not through the buttonhole. So we're coming in through the back, but not through a buttonhole. We're just trying to get our string or thread here to the front. And what you're gonna do is literally circle around your button and make sure you're tugging to make sure that it's nice and tight. So you do that, that's one, two, and a third time. And that just creates like a little thread barrier to make sure that when you, if you do choose to button your, your sweater, that it's not gonna be tugging on this, it's, it'll be fine. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to bring your yarn back to the other and side. now that we're on the back, what you're going to do is create a stitch. And 
of course, when we see that loop, just like we did kind of when we were doing our, um, when we were sewing our panels together, when we were sewing them together, how when you saw that loop, you're gonna bring your needle through and create a knot. And of course, make sure you always have enough thread because I'm, I'm over here burning out. <laughs> And make sure you always have enough, enough thread so that you can properly do your knots and you can do it a couple of times if you'd like. Cause that's just to make sure that your button doesn't come undone. It's just securing it with two knots. And now that we have that, we can bring our scissors in and cut it. And now that we have that, our button is nice and secure. And you're just gonna be doing the same thing. You're gonna be doing the same thing with all of your buttons. Make sure that there's an even amount of space. That's why I kind of like to lay them out before, um, just so you know where you're gonna be putting them so you're not guessing along the way. Just make sure, and if you have to adjust them, you can. Like if you're going and you realize that like, hey, like maybe my next one should be a little more spaced out or, or it should be a little closer. That's totally fine because you haven't actually attached them yet. You've just arranged them. So the good thing is that when you're, if you're going along, if you realize that you have to move a button around before you've placed it, you totally can. Um, just depending on where you know where you've sewed your buttons. But here the start and I'll come back with the finished. All right, so here we have our buttons attached to our button band. Like I said before, make sure that you weave in all your tails, if you have any that you haven't weaved in, just to make sure that you don't accidentally attach them to the back of your button band. And the good thing is that now that we have um, our buttons exactly where they need to go, now that we, when we make our other side with our buttonholes, we'll know exactly where to make those holes to make sure that they align perfectly with our buttons. And that just made our work on the other side a whole lot easier.